DNA extraction describes the removal of DNA from cells. It usually involves three steps. The first step is disrupting the tissue to break the cells apart. The second step is lysing or bursting the cells open to release the DNA. And the third step is separating the DNA from the other unwanted parts of the cell. There are lots of ways to extract DNA. Here, we will describe the DNA extraction by alkaline lysis. We start with a tissue sample. To disrupt the tissue, we crush it with a pestle, and this breaks the cells apart. To lyse the cells, they are heated in an alkaline solution. Alkalinity helps to disrupt the cell membranes. Heating the cells increases the kinetic energy, which increases the movement of phospholipids in the membranes. This disrupts cellular membranes and organelle contents are released, including DNA. The heat will also denature the double-stranded DNA, making it single-stranded. To avoid the DNA being broken down by deoxyribonuclease enzymes, the solution used prevents catalytic activity. To separate the DNA, we use a centrifuge to spin the tube very fast. Large heavy cell debris forms a pellet. DNA remains in the supernatant and can be removed to a clean tube. We finish with the DNA extracted from the tissue.